2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Daybreak Classic is about to begin. Hello, I'm Luke Elvey alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be following this featured group because there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. And so this week, Henny, they're vying to beat Tony Finau. This should inspire some brilliant play. Oh, Tony Finau will not be letting up this week, Luke. But he's such a nice guy, you almost don't want to beat him. I mean, it's tough, but you must. I don't think you're going to outdrive him, that's for sure. But I am play. Oh, maybe you can get him there. You have to putt well, though. Tony Finau might be a big, cuddly teddy bear, but when it comes to playing on a golf course, he's going to try and strangle you to death. Good luck trying to beat Tony Finau. There is literally no weakness in this man's game. Now he knows how to win. Well, it looks like John McCarthy's a step back ashore, kicked off his boat shoes, and is going to give us a little bit of a condition of today's course. John, what are the players facing here at Old Marina Golf Club? Well, Luke, we're on the coast, but there's a good mix of uh, coastal and inland holes at Old Marina Golf Club. Lots of movement in these greens. Uh, if you are an expert at uh, reading putts, you're going to have a bit of a leg up, I think, this week. I love the fourth hole, par five, that stretches along the ocean, has a green that's well protected by bunkers, which probably might dissuade some from going forward in two. The seventh hole, similarly, a par five stretching down the ocean, but is much less protected around the green and that green is enormous by the way so that'll definitely be green light city for the players this week and one last hole i really love the par four 14th uh, the players are going to hit over the water to a fairway that juts out into the ocean on a peninsula so that will provide some great entertainment this week as well looking forward to see what kind of creativity uh, is on display by these players here this week at old marina golf club That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Time for the second shot into the third. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. It's a lovely speed on that part. So close to the hole. Currently a couple under for the event. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Oh, that is bombed. Time for the second shot here at the four. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. And this putt to move into a tie for third. Oh, birdie with big wings. Great putt. And that will take him to four under. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Time for the fifth shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. And we've arrived at a par three. Nothing quite like an eagle at the last. Almost as good as a shrimp on the barbie. They've decided to club up. Nicely done. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 16 feet from the cup. Well done. Take the birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. 
Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Golf became a power game, and there's few players out on tour that have more prodigious power than Tony Finau. If he really wants to go full tilt, Rich, it feels like everyone's playing for second. He is a dynamic player that has the ability to make birdies in bunches. The ball striking, I think, is always going to be brilliant. Watching him when he was on the Corn Ferry Tour, graduated to the PGA Tour, and just keep watching the steady progression. Each and every week, he just seems to get a little bit better. And the confidence level is over the moon with this kid. And to bundle it all up, Luke, he's one of the nicest guys in the world. You want to root for a Tony Finau. He is such a likable, lovable guy, I believe, that you can't help but root for him. And the wins that he didn't get are just heartbreaking, and we felt the pain alongside with him. I love watching this guy play. I root for him every single week. A big opportunity with an eagle putt. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. This hole is a par three. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. The ninth hole here, though, at Old Marina Golf Club is a strong one, a really tough test to finish the opening nine. A par four, stretching 466 yards. For those who like to work the golf ball from left to right, you're going to have to take a little bit of a chance by aiming over that hazard on the left-hand side. But if you find the fairway, boy, I tell you what, that's a fantastic feeling because this hole has got so much beauty. I love the second shot. The bunkers on the front, but I love how the green runs away on the left-hand side. The design of this hole, especially the green, is absolutely amazing. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. now who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? If he makes this, he'll save his par. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. So far, so good, but it's only early days, Rich, in this rivalry. Up early on their rival, which is exactly where you want to be, but a lot of golf still to go until the end of the tournament. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Sitting at seven under par for the day, in a share of the lead. And choosing the eight iron here. No harm, no foul there with that shot. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. Surely it's going to. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will take him to eight under. And now over to Tony Finau. Had a big eagle on the last hole. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Oh, well done. And Henny, what's he looking at here? You're going to need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. An opportunity for a birdie here. 
It's got a chance. A wonderful putt. We can claim it. Back to back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Going with the six iron here. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. I think he gave that one too much respect. They didn't want to hit it too hard and go racing past the hole. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Currently nine under for the round. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. A yeah, quality shot, that. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? He'll be happy to hold this. 21 foot. Well done. Currently at 10 under par overall. This hole here is a par four. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 155. Wow, that drive. That had so much airtime, I didn't even know if it was coming down. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Now four shots up after that hole. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. That one should find the surface. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Oh, well played. Leading by four strokes after that one. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Wonder how they will play this hole. Do they want to attack it? If so, they can extend their lead. And now over to Tony Finau. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Let's get back to it, shall we? Great drive here. Can it make it to the green? Second shot here on the 16th. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, he's on fire today. Building upon his lead, hole after hole. Currently 13 under for the day. Well, Rich, don't know about you, but my eyes are wide open standing here on the 17th tee of Old Marina Golf Club. Every player is going to be salivating to get here. This could be the easiest hole by a long shot on this golf course. The fairway, 
massive, most generous fairway out here. Second shot, a little bit uphill, but let's face it, just 506 yards, slightly uphill. I promise you, every player in this field is thinking eagle and nothing but. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's flying high after that nice eagle on the last. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Here we have it. Try to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. That's tidy. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Well played, mate. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Looking great now. That signs off on this player's performance for the day.